we have made two slides of the same height but different profiles. One is steeper than the other. The question is, which slide will impart greater speed to the ball? To find it out, we place a photo gate in the ball's way. The speed of the ball rolling down a low angle slide turned out to be 1.44 meters per second, while a steep one imparted the speed of 1.41 meters per second. So the speed values are practically equal. Considering such slides, Galileo Galilei reasoned in the following way. If there are no losses, the motion of the ball is reversible. If we roll it back with the same speed up the same slide, it will get to the same height and stop. Imagine now that there are two slides of the same height, rolling down which the ball acquires different speed. We put them opposite each other and roll the ball down that slide, which imparts greater speed. After getting up onto the second slide, the ball will not use up all its speed and will continue rolling. We put an additional slide in its way so that it would stop at its top. As a result, the ball has self-propelled itself up to a higher point than it was in the beginning. Now let us make the ball descend to the initial point through a spout, doing work and lifting a load. We'll do it several times in a row. What we get is Perpetuum Mobile, a device that can produce mechanical work out of nowhere. But Perpetuum Mobile is unobtainable. So we have proved that when descending slides of the same height, the ball acquires equal speed. But in reality, there are always some losses. The ball loses height with every round, and the speed at each run becomes a little lower. Let's register the decrease in the speed of the ball going through the photo gate on the graph. We can see that speed loss is nearly uniform. But how are the height of the slide and the acquired speed connected with each other? This is how Galilei reasoned. If one of the slides is vertical, then a body free falling from such height will acquire the speed which equals square root of 2 gh. This means that for all other slides of height h, the speed will be the same. It will only be true, however, for a sledge sliding down without friction, and not for a ball, because its energy transforms not only into progressive, but also into rotary motion. So it slides slower than a sledge. We talk about it in detail in our video called Moment of Inertia. We don't have a frictionless sledge, but we have a low friction trolley. It'll roll down the height of 14 cm. When free falling from such height, a body acquires the speed of 1.65 m per second. Let's see what will happen in our experiment. The photogate readings are 1.61 m per second. Physics works, as always.